Happy New Year, everybody. We are counting down the hours till 2020. Actually, by the time I probably get this edited and uploaded, it'll probably be past midnight. So it's probably already 2020 over there. I got like, what, five hours? I guess it depends on how fast these fingers are at editing. Oh, thank you. Oh, cough drops. Yeah, sorry. I'm a little bit sick. You might be able to tell from my voice. I've been having a great uh, New Year's Eve, you know? You know, I woke up in the middle of the night, woke up Gary, I'm like, Gary, can you take me to the emergency room? My chest hurts, I can't breathe. But I went to the doctor and everything, which is something that I usually refuse to do. So it's good, you know? Anyways, what are you guys' New Year's resolutions, huh? Sure, I'm not the first person to ask you this dumb question. <laughs> yeah, it's like this humidifier, look at that. This is supposed to help me breathe and not cough as much. Anyways, thank you guys for the amazing 2019. It's been a good year, huh? I thought this would be a great video to make. You know, cause one, it's good to like reflect on what you've accomplished, you know? Sometimes you're always looking forward that sometimes you just need to sit and rewind a little bit. The focus keeps going onto your face. And the camera thinks your face is more important than mine, apparently. Okay, I'm just gonna go like <laughs> I'll just pop in for the occasional comments. <laughs> it's closer to me, so even when it decides to focus on you, it's not completely like blurry for me. Yeah. It's always good to like, look back on what you've accomplished and stuff. And plus like this video, probably I could probably get 50K views out of this video. You know, and it's easy. It's like very little effort. I could probably shoot and edit this whole thing in like four hours. And you know how much money I make off a video that gets 50,000 views? Yeah, do you guys know? No. How much do you think? Off of YouTube that is. Off of YouTube? Yeah. I'll say like 500 bucks. 500 bucks? That's what, what do you guys think? <laughs> I'm curious. What do you guys think? There used to be like rumors that you can't show it, but apparently that's not true. Let's find a video with 50,000 views. Are you sure? Or why, why, yeah, why, we're allowed why to show it. Why wouldn't you be allowed to show it though? That doesn't make sense. I don't sense. know. On sponsored videos though, that's a huge no-no though. Like literally on contracts, it says you cannot disclose like the, the details of this contract. That one has 59. Okay, 59,000 views. How much did I make off it? 180 bucks. So. I might be able to make 180 bucks by just sitting here and just us just talking for like 30 minutes and hey, then I'll just hey, edit for 30 minutes. Right. That'll cover the cost of all the cough drops, the cough syrup, the doctor's visit. Yeah. You spent a lot of money on, what, what else did you buy? This humidifier Echinacea. isn't cheap, okay? This humidifier is like, <laughs> but this is premium quality. Why does it keep turning off? So yeah, in an attempt to make a 180 bucks, let's uh, be sentimental about our channel for 2019. So yeah, just about a year ago is when I made this video. So this was like almost exactly a year ago. This whole like segment where I like do the Looney Tunes intro thing. Like a lot of people actually bring that up when I meet them. They go, hey, I thought that was funny. That was so spontaneous though, yeah. huh? Like I had known that I wanted to like bust through that paper, but like this whole like bit of just making it a Looney Tunes intro is just kind of like <laughs> the aftermath of it. Like I punched through the paper and I was like, yeah, I might as well just keep it going. Back when I was filming this video, I was so excited about having a studio space. Like I love filming in the studio. It's all controlled and everything, but now it's gotten so stale to me. Like every time I film in the studio, I'm like, this is so boring. Like I'm actually sitting in Sam's desk right now. I don't think it looks as good as the studio, but I'm excited to film here because it's not the studio. Our next video, you're going to be in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> look at how skinny I was then. I don't look like that anymore. Huh? What part of you is skinnier? Like everything. My face, my chin, my body. You see it, right? Yeah, you see uh, it. A little bit in your face. <laughs> she just called me a fat face. And look at this. This is probably the last thing I shot in my old apartment. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of things I miss about this old apartment. And a lot of things I don't like. I miss it because it's like, just kind of the location was cool and there was so much going on in that area. It's a fun place to live, Silver Lake. I also don't miss it because if you were to ask me if I wanted to move back to no way. <laughs> well that and you had to lug everything up three flights of stairs. Yeah. All your equipment. And laundry. We have laundry in the house. How Ooh. great is that? You can leave the laundry in the dryer a couple days here if you want to. <laughs> the first time we used the yard. <laughs> the video like it was the first time i've had a yard since i moved to la so over, over 10 years it's so nice having a yard yeah oh yeah this is catalina island with sony i think i had a little bit over 200,000 subscribers at the beginning of this year now we have what 500 something thousand what am i at 509 000. Woo! it's pretty good i can't believe that this is my birthday yeah i was filming right when i turned uh 30. <laughs> yeah remember oh! this 
That was fun. I liked making that video. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Oh God, I remember that being so cold. That was great. We actually drove around the neighborhood scouting out the best puddles. Yeah, that's <laughs> Carrie driving the Jeep. This is like one of the first oh. times we went to Long Beach. No, that was San Diego. Oh, this but is San Diego? But that's what kind of got us thinking about moving closer to the beach. Oh right? yeah. After that trip. Uh huh. Oh, Look how happy the dogs are when they're by the beach. That's why we need to go Look there. Look how happy I am at the uh -huh. beach. Uh <laughs> huh. Oh, oh yeah. that's when we got in the accident. Yeah. That was really scary. Yeah, I was scared because like the dogs were in the, in the back. back. We didn't actually record it. That's just the aftermath. But yeah. yeah, it was on the freeway. We were stopped and we heard like loud screeching for a, a, a couple of seconds. And then yeah, I boom. had enough time to look in the rearview mirror and actually see the guy about to hit us. But that was not fun. Yeah. Oh, I visited Maddie in Toronto. I think this might be the first time I visited him in Toronto. I think yeah. it was. This is my first time visiting yeah. his studio. That was cool because while I was kind of starting out, you two would be like, oh, that's a cool space and everything. And then actually going to visit it and hanging out with Maddie was like really cool. I think Maddie might, might be one of the nicest people He's Canadian. I've met. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. This day I needed a haircut. And I was like, hey, Sam, you want to just like cut my hair? You know, I thought it was like the funniest thing. I was like, hey, I should start doing a bit where like, you know, I start doing all my product reviews while I'm getting a haircut. That would be fun. I found out later there's actually a pretty popular show where like, uh, I think his name is Jeff. And he goes and like cuts people's hair while doing a little interview. It's actually pretty funny. It's entertaining to watch. And I remember walking in and it just smelled like burnt hair. <laughs> <laughs> See how much smoke? That's all real, by the way. I mean, that was not like CG smoke or anything. That was a lot of smoke that came out of poop. Yeah, Sam and I both gained a little bit of weight this year. I'm telling you, it's the Postmates. Yeah, we order too much. We eat out way too much. Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh huh. Oh, remember those dogs? Franklin. They were so cool. Oh, this is like the underwater drone that we send into a swamp in Florida. Oh, look at Steve's face. Look how happy he is right there. He was so happy because he was filming a turtle. He got like a good close up of a turtle, but the turtle was so ugly. I've never seen him smile that I much. I know, right? Ever. Look how ugly that turtle is though. Oh gosh. He looks like a Star Wars character. Uh, <laughs> remember how exciting it was to get our one wheels? I remember when you got yours and I was like, can we please get another one? Yeah, those are fun, huh? Oh, I kind of missed that Jeep. But yeah, that was the first time going to one of these conventions. I went with Maddie. It was super cool just going to one of those events and literally meeting everybody. Oh, this that is a- uh, San Luis Obispo. That's and right. Santa Barbara. That's when you like gashed open your toe because uh, you're wearing flip flops hiking. And I think I show the footage for a second. Oh, so okay. if you guys get kind of queasy, then close your eyes in three, two, one. Keep your eyes closed. Uh, keep them closed another second. Okay, now you can open it. That was our anniversary. This is your favorite trip of the year, right? Is what you were saying? Yeah, it was short, but it was my favorite. You don't even have to color grade footage when you're at a cool spot like that. It just all looks so good. Look how nice the sunset. Everything looks just so good. And this is my favorite shot right here. It's that dolly and look. Remember that drone? Yeah. I got that drone for uh, Carrie's uh, stepdad. So I was gonna like demo it be like, hey, here's how to use it. Get him all excited about it and be like, surprise, it's yours. But what happened was I like, I demoed it to him and then and I crashed it. So it's like, surprise, this <laughs> broken drone is yours. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there was footage of it crashing, right? Yeah. Because basically we lost signal and then it did the return to home, but it hit this building on the way back. So then we had to actually like go onto the roof. Like the manager there was super chill. So he kind of like was like, oh yeah, I'll take you up there. That's when things turned around in a bad way. That's when I broke my arm. No, uh, yeah, it was May. It was May, Man, yeah. so it's, over, it's been like over half a year. That's what my arm looks like now. There's me like FaceTiming you. You were at work. <laughs> I was like, look at my arm, and like a bone's like sticking out. <laughs> that was rough, honestly, like for months, like my arm hurt, I couldn't do anything. I still try to film videos, but to be honest, like filming those videos were not fun. It was rough, like it would hurt. Like I felt like I needed to keep making videos. So I think after that, I kind of like let go because I was pretty active before that, you know? And I think right. when I broke my arm, is when I like stop being as active. Because yeah, because right before this, we got our mountain bikes mm -hmm. and we haven't really taken it out since I broke my arm. This oh. must have been around the time you got your motorcycle, huh? Yeah, I can't wait for you to get yours. I know, right? I'm picking up a new motorcycle on Thursday. Thursday. This is when we went down and surprised, uh, we called him birthday Sam. That, that was fun. 
We just went around and shot a little bit. Sam broke birthday Sam's bike there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I'm surprised that you haven't been on the Oculus in a while. Like you were glued to that thing. Oh my God, yeah. I'd wake up in the middle of the night to go pee and then you'd be <laughs> in the living room doing your thing. I was actually legit super fun. The Oculus Quest, man, I love that thing. For a while I was playing it in the living room and uh, Carrie would be like, oh, are you playing the Oculus? I'd be like, yeah, this is for work. You know, they're sponsoring a video. So I got to make sure I, you know, like put in many hours into playing it so I could give an accurate review of it. But then after I put out the video, I was done with the sponsorship and everything. I'd still like be playing it and Carrie would come out and be like, why are you playing it still? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was addicting. It was so much fun though, huh? My favorite is seeing people try it for the first time. Yeah, there's Jonathan getting married. Oh, that's where we were testing out the wire roll. It's like the wire cam with the Insta360 ONE X. That thing's pretty cool, huh? Cause like it goes so fast and you could have it go through like really tight places, but sometimes it didn't stop where it was supposed to stop. So I would just keep going and just whack it to, you know, the barrier. Well, that was a great wedding, huh? Yeah, it was. Now, when you look back on all these videos, you realize like how much has actually happened. It feels like, oh man, 2019 went by so fast, but you look back on it, you go, holy crap, a lot of stuff has actually happened. <gasps> Oh, yeah, that, Remember was, the time when we that was a highlight for me, for sure. Yeah. That's still like the best birthday gift I've ever gotten. We took up portraits of Carrie's dogs and, and printed them out pretty big on canvas. Oh. I love I love when people come over for the first time and they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is in Vegas. Hey, on this trip, you made a bunch of money on poker. Yeah. Carrie's a <laughs> savage in poker. That was fun. And Blue Man Group. Yeah. That was, that was a fun trip. We should do Vegas again. Yeah, we saw the Blue Man Group for the first time. They were so good. This is trip number two to Toronto to visit Maddie. But my <laughs> first time to Toronto. Yeah, you enjoyed Toronto, huh? Mm -hmm. and I see. Yeah, I really liked it a lot. Oh, this is when we went to Cancun with a bunch of subscribers, actually. Yeah, that trip was a little bit scary in a way because, like, I've never done anything like that before. Um, Gerard, that's Gerard right there. He like originally hit me up and he has a travel company. And at first I was like a little bit worried about it. It's like, mm, what if things don't go well? Like that feels like a lot of responsibility on my part, but uh, it really wasn't like Gerard took care of planning everything. And I just kind of felt like uh, one of the participants really. And actually in a, about a week or so, I'm heading over to Thailand to do uh, another one of these. I'm gonna keep doing more. Where's the next destination gonna be? I don't know, oh. there's, there's a bunch of options. <laughs> Where do you guys wanna go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, when you went to Ireland. Oh yeah, Ireland, that was an adventure. Cause you were a speaker. It was fun, we got to go on a helicopter and all that. Now we're into October, I got my new Jeep. But that was a nice road trip, huh? Like all yeah. that snow. That was a great road trip. We flew into the very north end of the west coast and then just drove all the way down from Washington through Oregon, all the way down to Southern California. Yeah. Breaking in our new car right there. I actually haven't taken the new Gladiator out on some serious off-roading yet. It's ready to pretty much now. I got oh. my winch on there, I got my new tires on there. Oh, and then after we visited Maddie a bunch of times in Toronto, Maddie came and visited us. I had to give Maddie the doors off experience in the Jeep, of course. And I think it was like a week or two later when Peter came into town. So I had to give him the doors off experience too. It was so dusty. We took him to this place called Elephant Hill, I think is what it was called. And he got so dirty. And he was like one of the keynote speakers at I think Vid Summit. And this is like the morning before his talk. So we took him out there, he got super dirty. And he just like went up on stage after we got back, All like dusty. covered in <laughs> dust. Oh yeah, we made a fake little short film. There's an Aperture Light This Location contest that I was one of the judges on. That's Raphael, who's our actor there. He was one of the ones that came with us to Cancun and we've been buddies since. So when I needed to find somebody to model for us, to come out of the bathroom, I was like, I know who to call. <laughs> <laughs> we went funky on the lighting, huh? Uh, purple and blue. It's really cool that now, like, yeah, and you then, know people from all over, so does it like wherever you go? Yeah, I know, right? Like Chris also came with us on the trip, so when we were in Phoenix, we are like, hey, let's hang out and let's film. And Chris is a dancer also, so he did some dancing for us. Oh, is that when you gave Steve the bike? Yeah, that's when I surprised Steve with the motorcycle. Like I had him just like take it around the block, and then when he got back, I gave him like the pink slip. But tricks on Steve, it's having all kinds of issues. I think like the <laughs> clutch plate got stuck this weekend. So he's like, hey, uh, do you know how to fix this? I'm like, I don't know, but it's your problem now. <laughs> if it was a bike I could have sold, I would have probably sold it. I wouldn't just give it to him out of the kindness of my heart, no way. Uh, some 360. 
360 footage, the GoPro Max, some fun footage out of there. Oh, and this was cool. Airy has always been like one of my dream brands to work with. And they invited me to just kind of play with a bunch of their cameras. And I get to go to Airy. Do you think they'll let me see a Alexa LF? They let me see everything, okay? <laughs> Show me the LF. They even let me touch a 65, okay? That's like very few people get to say they've touched an Alexa 65 before. That was significant. Oh yeah, and then filming with Ultimate Arm. That was dope. A Cadillac with a camera on there. <laughs> like, and we put our red on the tip of it and they were like, man, this is such a small camera because they're used to flying around Alexas all the time and everything. Like that was an experience. And that's Avi, he's the one that like hooked us up with ultimate arm. Oh, and Avi let me ride his motorcycle. That thing is scary. That thing's a, a super moto. It's like a, a dirt bike that's meant for the street. So it's like, those things are crazy and a lot of power. And, uh, yeah, Avi is a madman riding that thing too. <laughs> George is like, don't do that, kids. Wear a helmet. This is out in Big Bear Lake, which is cool. I think this is a video sponsored by like Samsung. All right, the, the cool part about having a sponsor, you have budget all of a sudden. You can go do stuff like go get a boat and film it on a cabin. Like it makes the video so much better when you can like put some dollars behind it. We, we wouldn't be able to afford, you know, videos like this if it wasn't for sponsors. Cause you know, this made 80,000 views. How much money do you think a video with 80,000 views gets? Well, if one with 59 gets- Don't think about it too much, just throw out a number. Okay. <laughs> Too fitty. You think it made 250 bucks? What do you guys think? Let's check. Oh, oh, 254. Yeah, there you go. But that wouldn't even have paid for that boat rental. So there you go. <laughs> oh, of course, buying an Aria Alexa off Craigslist. Man, that looks, it looks so good. It's funny, because what are we watching on right now? Oh, we are watching it in 4K. But even if we were watching like, you know, 480p, we still recognize how good the quality is. Yeah, look at that. Right oh, now wow. we're on 480p. Still looks so good, right? Yeah. Just goes to show that like, it's not about the resolution. It's like, look at that, it looks great. Oh, and this is when we got the test drive, the electric Porsche. Yeah, I think this is like one of the first batches of Porsches to come into the States. That's, his name is also Gene. He's also Asian Gene. It's not allowed. <laughs> yeah, but he's got a website called Tesla Roddy. So he's kind of like a journalist for electric <laughs> automobiles. And yeah, driving that Porsche was fun. Okay, that's in Palm Springs. Sam hits me right in the head with his <laughs> snowball. Good shot. That was good. Good job, Sam. And then of course, Hawaii. Hawaii, that was fun. We got to go with Maddie and his family. That was our first time to Maui too. Yeah, and those waves were massive, huh? Beautiful, and the snorkeling we got to do. Oh yeah. We got to see sea turtles and the manta ray that scared mm -hmm. the crap out of me. The manta ray's mouth was like this big and i saw and carrie like definitely like freaked out a little bit she was like ah, ah. i made sure that you were close <laughs> that was a good trip we did a lot in that short amount yeah. of time and oh and we totally messed up that jeep well not messed it up but we got it dirty in the jeep that's not supposed to be off-roaded <laughs> we took it through a car wash after that and even at that point the guy was like the guy at the car wash he was like and then of course we have 500,000 subscribers like what, two weeks ago or something. And then we just got back from Mexico, which was amazing. And that just about brings us back to today. Yeah, it's been a real good year. Thank you guys. That's been, it's been, it's been real. Should we do a toast? Thanks again to all of you guys for giving us such a great 2019. Obviously we wouldn't be able to do what we do without you guys. So thank you. Cheers. Happy new year. Cheers. Five. Four, three, two, one. Happy, Happy New Year! Year! Woo!